That's why football is one of the industries that are lagging behind the most of any industry because it's so traditional and corrupt. My name is Nick Humphreys. And I'm building my own team to play professional football in 365 days. I didn't get a contract, so I'm building my own team. It's called Effective FC. We're going to make a statement that if you believe in your dreams, you can do it, right? Yeah! Nick, what are you looking at? My effective control. It looks like we've got a decent number of entries. I'm looking at this guy right now. He's got seven consecutive, which is pretty good. Like, look at that guy. It's not easy to do this. He's got uh, nine consecutive. This guy's got, I think, six or seven consecutive. But this guy, ball is football. I gotta give this guy a like. This guy has done an amazing job. He's got 12. 12 revolutions. 12 consecutive revolutions. That's pretty damn good. This guy did more than you and me combined. And you also had it. I don't think you did it, right? <laughs> <laughs> but um, it looks like this guy's a winner, so. So shout out to. Can we insert like the music? <laughs> shout out to. Ballers underscore football. 12 consecutive. Well done, buddy. Follow him. And what does he get? So you're gonna get the elite membership worth $400. You're gonna get 12 months, the one on one coaching. You're gonna get better, you're gonna improve, and we're gonna put your progress on the vlog. Yes. Well done, buddy. Yes. <laughs> the understated thumbnail. What? <laughs> I can't just do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The old bear, yeah, bed and breakfast, and <laughs> for breakfast you get like, like, it wasn't even toast, it's like these little bread sticks, like bread cracker, like crackers in a packet, and you just ate that with like cheese or something. But that was breakfast, that's not a football with breakfast. So. And then for lunch you'd get like, pasta and for dinner you get pasta and it would be the same shit every day at least for the couple of days I was there and you go to training there's like 30 players there in the training and it's just one coach and like at least half the players shouldn't be there it's just like they were getting them over from Australia or Canada or whatever to get them to pay 2000 or 3000 dollars a month to just get the money up. You know what? If it wasn't even 50% of the players, like, like literally all the players just, they can't compete at an Italian level. They were not good enough. Maybe one or two. And those one or two, I think they get into like a club, but I'm pretty sure they paid off the club directors and whatever. Like here, here's $5,000 if you let this player play here for a few months and train with your team. And then they put all these pictures on social media. They put all the pieces on social media so the parents back home in Australia and Canada, they would see what was going on. And they think, oh shit, this academy, the GIST Academy is like, uh, it's a big success story. Look at all these players are getting signed. And what they do is get like, the, they have the sponsored backdrop with the shirt holding up. Thing. It's like right behind you? Yeah. Yeah. And the, the caption would be like, congratulations to so-and-so for getting signed by the Serie B team. And if you think about it, so they had like 30, 40, 50 players there paying two, three thousand dollars a month. If you do the math, that's a lot of money. And it just makes sense. You just get them over here, and then a couple of players, you just you, you pretend that they actually were successful, pay off some club directors so they can they can play with the team, and then they let go at the January break or the summer break, and then just keeps going like that. No one ever says. But I was there, and there's some parents there, and they're like, oh, this shit is fishy. Mm. But they were too naive, or like, still wanted to believe that yeah, this is the right opportunity for them. And the thing is, I've seen that so much now. And that's one of the reasons why the FC should be created. And that's why we're creating a football club. Because we can 
set a positive example and also bring these kind of issues to light. Because I don't think it just happens to football, footballers, but it must happen in a lot of sport things, basketball, especially football, all around the world. Mm. And then this guy who'd be running it, you'd go on his social media, he'd be like, he'd be uh, so fucking fishy. Italian mafia, really. He'd be riding his uh, G wagon, Mercedes G wagon, and he'd, look, and he'd be getting pictures with like uh, Ronaldo or whatever, or Messi. But you know, he'd probably paid money to get behind the scenes, like access to like a get in the change near the changing rooms or something. So when these players would come, they'd get a photo together. But you know for sure he was just doing that so he looked good on social media set a positive impression to these parents that were already paying two or three grand a month and, and he looked like oh this is the guy that is going to get my son opportunity over there in Italy in Europe bullshit terrible terrible now the reason I the reason I say this now that you just vlogged that is like this guy reached out to me I won't say his name because he's probably confidential this guy reached out to me he was training with a La Liga team uh, he's training with a La Liga team and he said he was over there he did really well in his performances but as he got to know the team better especially reserve team what he found out was there were two or three players in the first team that were paying three hundred to four hundred thousand dollars a year to, to play in the first team and that's a lot of money but they would be doing this for their CV so they could make a few substitute appearances from the bench and maybe like people will think they're good in other clubs because they made some first team appearances for the Liga team and they can continue their career that way. He also said there are, are people in the reserve team paying $5,000 a month just to play because it looks good in their CV. Crazy. And this is and a first division team somewhere in Europe. A, a La Liga team. A La, La Liga, Liga team. La Liga. Because they know if they get a bench appearance against Barcelona, then that's something they can put on their CV mm. in their highlight video forever. But they might actually be no good. Yeah. That's football. That's how much corruption there is. People think FIFA is being reformed. It's bullshit. Like, FIFA can be reformed and all this stuff, and there can be changes, but it's such a slow process. That's why football is one of the industries that are lagging behind the most of any industry because it's so traditional and corrupt. And in the modern world, in the first world, first world countries, that this, this stuff is still happening. It's, it's crazy. And it might sound far-fetched though. It might sound far-fetched. Like, like, oh, this can't be true. But I've seen so many of the examples over the last seven, eight, nine years. So much that... It's like normal. It's like... It's, I can believe it, you know? Mm -hmm. $400,000 sounds like, like a lot of money, but in football terms, when it's about players and opportunities, I can just I can believe it. Because people are willing to do anything. It's their livelihood, it's their life, it's their dream. I don't remember his name, like a Bayern Munich, they played for the, for the first team, and they didn't want to pay all the money to buy him, so he actually paid himself to go into the first team. Yeah. So he was like a reserve player or something, yeah. Strange days indeed. It's strange days, but once you, it's like, once you have that first thing on your CV, yeah. that you play for a national team when you're younger, or you play for a top club when you're younger, then you can use that to, to your advantage for your whole career. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, we're gonna start with the warm up, but I think he's gonna take care of the warm up, but like, the time and then for the, like, two against two, the situation. And this is just, uh, to guide the ball and to know how you move into, uh, into space and to get to, uh, to receive the pass. So it's not going to be so difficult. We will play to the whistle. So long as I do not blow, keep going. Okay, I'm going to have all the balls there. So it's going to be defenders, midfielders, defensive midfielder, and then striker. So you guys are going to be there, and then you can finish off with the with the goal. Okay, square so goal. Let's do ten minutes warm up. Let's do something. Follow me. Why is she? Behind up if you're a defender. Defender if you're a defender. Just you? Yeah. What? Strikers. Strikers. Alright. So defender, can you go over there? You want to go? 